Good morning, folks. Today I wanted to uh, demonstrate how you can use an array literal to build a virtual table that could be used as a VLOOKUP. So in this example, you can see um, I've got cell A3 highlighted, and this is the formula the array literal formula that's in there. And you can see, I want to point out, um, if you, when you use an array literal and separate the items with commas, that will create columns. And if you separate then with a semicolon, that will create rows. So as you can see, we are creating a table of um, uh, that we could use as a VLOOKUP. So we have an A is equal to a 4 or outstanding, and a B, and so forth. So it is important to note that the A, comma, 4, comma, outstanding in this array literal creates this, um, this array. So let's just let's just quickly run through this again. Let's do equals um, equals in a, an array uh, literal. Let's do one comma two comma three and finish that array literal out. And what we get is one two three. Now, if we wanted to uh, have that then be four five six, I could do uh, semicolon four five six. And as you can see. I'm building this table with an array literal um, and uh, learning to use the, com the difference between the commas and the semicolons. So ju that's just an example. But in this case, it might be useful for teachers to build a little um, uh, array literal that would build a table that would let you take a letter grade, convert it to a number, convert it to um, some kind of a word uh, result. So what I'm doing then is taking this data, and let's take a look at what I've done here. I am taking um, this array that I've created, this array literal, and I'm putting it into my V lookup with, uh, with an um, array form. And this is a little complex because I, I want this to work um, as I add more grades, I want this to work. So let's come here and let's add a C. And as you, as you can see, and a D and an A, you can see as I add a grade, my VLOOKUP fills out this. Well, how does that work? Well, it works <clears throat> because I am taking uh, an array literal to build my headers. So I'm using the... Uh, array literal format and building a header, so numeric result, word result, followed by a semicolon. And then I've had to write an if error array formula VLOOKUP. And then the reason I'm using an indirect is um, if for some reason somebody inserted a row in here, um, it would, it would, uh, not break this, it would actually bring this in here like that, but it would keep these lined up. If I did not use the indirect and someone uh, had created a new row, um, these would start to not line up. So that's why I'm using the indirect so that I can always keep this uh, at E3. So what we're doing is doing an if error array formula VLOOKUP indirect. So this is my this is my VLOOKUP. My VLOOKUP, my data on my VLOOKUP is, let's go ahead and bring this up, is my search key. So my VLOOKUP, this is my search key right here. And then uh, the next step is in my VLOOKUP, there's my search key, and then I am uh, which is basically E3, and then my VLOOKUP table, rather than pointing to a range, maybe on another sheet or maybe on this sheet where I would have 
this table created, I'm creating it virtually with this array literal. And the advantage of that is my end users will not be able, uh, without you know, messing with this formula, will not be able to do something with my uh, data table that would be the VLOOKUP table. So I'm creating this, it's got three columns, a, a numeric or a grade, a numeric and a word, and then the semicolon you know, my next row of data. So that's my VLOOKUP table. I'm using that VLOOKUP table, uh, looking up what's in E3, e, E3 to E. We're looking up that because it's an array formula. And then we're using this array literal as the VLOOKUP table. And then in this case, we're, uh, in this example, we're looking at column two of my virtual table. And the last uh, uh, zero there represents false. You can use either the word false or, uh, let me see if that pops up for you when you do a VLOOKUP, um, is sorted. And we're saying false, it's not sorted. So the zero represents that. And then, uh, because I'm building two different columns here, the numeric result, word, word result, I simply put in a comma here. To the, this is my second array literal uh, declaration so that we have two columns. I need two arguments. And if error, again, the same thing, but in this case, I'm looking at column three. So with one formula uh, right here, let's go ahead and mark that yellow so we can see. With one formula, I am building this VLOOKUP table with a array literal virtual table to let me, in one formula, create a numeric result and a word result based on whatever is uh, written, uh, whatever letter is written in, in column E. And again, if I put a C in there, it's going give to give me my two and my average, give me an F, and it's going to give me my zero and unsatisfactory. So I hope that helps. That's how you can use array literals. They're very handy, and it could help you when you're doing your, your uh, VLOOKUP tables using the array literals.